hello everyone now i am going to explain today i am going to explain gamma function this gamma function also comes under special function only gamma function what is mean by gamma function what is the definition how to denote and what are the properties of gamma function everything we will see gamma function this is also a special kind of function the gamma function is defined by gamma of n the symbol is just reverse seven gamma of n you have to read this one as gamma n gamma n reverse seven the gamma function is defined by gamma of n and is read as gamma n where n greater when n greater than 0 n is always greater than 0 and is de denoted by gamma n is equal to the definition as gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x into x to the power of n minus 1 dx gamma n is equal to this is the formula very 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 important number of times we need to use this formula gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x into x to the power of n minus 1 dx for example gamma m if you want to write gamma m how can you write integral 0 to infinity common e to the power of minus x is common in place of n you only you have to write in place of n m gamma 5 also in the same way for example gamma m is equal to integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x into x to the power of m minus 1 dx for this one this one the difference is here n is there that's why gamma n here m is there that's why gamma m in the same way gamma 5 is equal to we can write as integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x into x to the power of 5 minus 1 dx 5 minus 1 dx is gamma 5 gamma 4 is integral 0 to infinity to the power of minus x x to the power of 4 minus 1 dx as gamma 4 examples of gamma you can write like this now we will see few properties the formula very very important gamma function formula by had this formula gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity x e to the power of minus x into x to the power of n minus 1 dx now properties properties are nothing but formulas remember by heart like anything now the first property few properties of gamma function gamma function properties are first one is gamma 1 is equal to 1 gamma of 1 is equal to 1 the second one is gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n that is equal to n factorial number of times we need to use these formulas wherever gamma 1 is there 1 we can write gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n we can write that is equal to n factorial we can write the third one is gamma of n is equal to 2 integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus y square into y to the power of 2n minus 1 dy the last one is the last one is gamma of 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to root pi root pi this is very 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 important repeatedly asking question this one also this is important for two marks now one by one these four properties we will prove the first one one by one we will prove now the first one is a gamma one is equal to one the first one gamma one is equal to one we have to prove to prove this one by the definition of gamma n gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x into x to the power of n minus 1 dx substituting n is equal to 1 put n is equal to 1 therefore gamma 1 is equal to integral in this formula wherever n is there in place of n i am putting n is equal to 1 integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x into x to the power of 1 minus 1 dx x to the power of 1 minus 1 is a 0 x to the power of 0 is 1 so that you will get integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x dx if you integrate this one integral e to the power of minus x by minus 1 limits are 0 to infinity minus 1 into upper limit is upper limit e to the power of infinity is 0 e to the power of 1 e to the power of 0 is e to the power of minus 0 is 1 now minus into minus 1 is plus 1 therefore gamma 1 is equal to 1 
second one is gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n that is equal to n factorial to prove this one by the definition of gamma function gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x into x to the power of n minus 1 dx we know the formula of gamma function definition now in this formula we will write put n is equal to n plus 1 wherever n is there i will substitute n plus 1 gamma of n plus 1 is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x into x to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 dx wherever n is there in place of n i am substituting n plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 get cancel gamma of n plus 1 is equal to you will get integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x into x to the power of n dx now you will get like this now uh, to do this one to uh, to find to integrate this one we will use integration by using using integrating integration by fact uh, by parts integrating by parts what is the integrating by parts formula integral f of x g of x dx is equal to f of x integral g of x dx minus integral f dash of x integral g of x dx whole dx this is the by parts formula integration by parts f of x this one in g of x this one now if you apply that formula gamma of n plus 1 is equal to integration by parts f of x integral g of x i am doing very much detailedly f of x integral g of x dx minus integral f dash of x x to the power of n dash integral g of x dx whole dx 0 to infinity now if you apply the limit x to the power of n into integral e to the power of minus x is e to the power of minus x by minus 1 whole to the whole I am apply, I will apply the limits minus integral 0 to infinity x to the power of n x to the power of n x to the power of n is into x to the power of n dash is n x to the power of n minus 1 now integration of this one is e to the power of minus x by minus 1 dx minus 1 is there now if you apply the upper limit upper limit is wherever in x is there infinity wherever uh, this one is there is 0 now if you apply infinity e to the power of infinity is 0 0 into anything is 0 now e to the power of 0 is 1 in place of e to the power of 0 is 1 but x to the power of 0 is so that you will get a 0 minus 0 minus n constant outside I will write minus into minus becomes plus 0 to infinity x to the power of n minus 1 into e to the power of minus x dx I wrote uh, uh, n constant outside I wrote uh, minus into minus becomes plus now n into the completely will become integral 0 to infinity x to the power of n minus 1 to the power of minus x dx is gamma n gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n we have got now this is equal to n factorial we have to prove to prove this one to prove this one gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n just now we proved this one is equal to we have to prove n factorial to prove the now we know this one and we to prove this one we have to uh, we have to prove n is the, this is equal to n factorial gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n we now just we just uh, proved now means um, this is this is lesser than 1 this is n plus 1 this is n how much is less this one 1 now n plus 1 n here now always remember n into n as it is I will write gamma n we can write as gamma n gamma n we can write as n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1 
see gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n difference between these two is this is this term is lesser than one term than this now gamma n we can write as n minus 1 into gamma n minus 1 now n into n minus 1 then kante idi okati takwa okati takwa gamma n gamma n kante okati takwa n minus 1 n into n minus 1 as it is I will write gamma of n minus 1 we can write as n minus 2 into gamma of n minus 2. Now in the same way if you do n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n so on you will get a gamma 1. In the end you will get a gamma 1. But gamma 1 value we know we proved just now gamma 1 is equal to 1 n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n so on up to into into is equal to 1 is n factorial because 5 factorial is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is equal to 5 factorial like that n factorial therefore gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n that is equal to that is equal to n factorial n gamma n that is equal to n factorial thank you very much